Clemencia Gomez is the managing director of the South Granville Senior Center, an outreach facility that runs a number of diverse activities for the elderly. She previously worked as a home support worker herself and talks about its importance to seniors. Home support brings support workers directly into people's homes where they help with things like housekeeping, meals, bathing and personal care, and taking medications. Home nursing is similar, but instead, licensed nurses visit to provide medical care. So home support is for seniors, or for people with disabilities too. Uh, so it's uh, a services that the health department provide. Well, I can see the benefits when they put home support to seniors. They eat well, they can be independent in the community, they don't have to go to a long-term care or independent living. So it's lots of benefits when they have home support coming to see them. Particularly since 2001, there has been reduced access to both home health services, home support services, and long-term care services. So that means that people can't get those services until their health is more compromised. One of the really interesting things about BC is that we were actually a leader in the 70s in terms of setting up community health services. We had home support services before many of the other provinces, and we were actually looked at by other provinces and other parts of the world. As, as a model for how we should support our more vulnerable citizens. Um, and this has really changed, and then it really appears to be that these are the services that are less visible and less noticeable and that don't get much attention. They're the services that have had the least support and been cut back the most. Cuts by BC's provincial government in home and community care have created a downward spiral. The system increasingly focuses on those with the most serious needs, leaving aside its prevention role. By keeping seniors healthy and independent, it would reduce the need for more expensive, long-term care facilities and hospital stays. The, the government isn't putting enough money into prevention and keeping people safe in their homes or allowing them to stay in a facility long enough so they can go home. We, we have patients and they are deemed okay to go home. And we as care aides who look after them know that they shouldn't be going home because the support they get at home isn't going to be adequate. We've seen the revolving door of the same patients revolving in, revolving out and coming back again. But if the proper backup was there in the community, they wouldn't have to return. And, and that's the sad thing. And now the trend is that unless you're really ill, you don't even get into such a facility. The causes are because there's a real push to lower lengths of stay in acute care, and we've also cut acute care hospital beds. We've also cut home support, so we've cut every single uh, safety valve in the system. We know that for a small amount of money, we could do much better with the healthcare dollars. Prevention is way more important than fixing and fixing and fixing in the Band-Aid approach. 